our top story. Colombian Auto Car Corporation, led by its president, Eugenia Domingo, invited a select group of motoring media to Palawan to test drive the latest models of Kia vehicles in the country. Well, we're actually here. We brought along 27 uh, people from uh, various media, from print uh, uh, and radio and television. Uh, we're going to bring them on a test drive of several Kia vehicles. So it's it's a fun time for them. They enjoy the test drive at the same time, have some uh, rest and re recreation. The participants were made to traverse a 260 kilometers of mostly paved roads from Puerto Princesa to the northern part of Palawan called El Nido. The scenic drive saw winding coastal roads, lush forests, rice fields and other highly agricultural scenery. We conduct the media ride and drive uh, and invite our friends from the motoring media annually. You know? We make it a point that we do this annually. Last year we were in Batanes and this year we chose Palawan because we wanted to see the progress that has happened to Palawan. Aside from, of course, uh, you guys trying out all our vehicles. We brought in the Picanto, the Rio, the Soul, the Sorrento, the Sportage for you to test drive. And the Karens, of course, the all-new Karens. And as I understand, people are having a good time, so that's uh, very heartwarming to know. Meanwhile, the 2014 Isuzu D-MAX 4x4 Drive Series continued to impress in its fourth staging held recently in Cagayan de Oro City. The off-road driving activity, which already saw three previous editions in Pampanga, Cebu, and Bacolod, consistently showed participants the unmatched capabilities and value-for-money proposition of the D-MAX pickup. This year's edition of the D-MAX 4x4 Drive Series is the third and the biggest mounted by Isuzu Philippines Corporation or IPC as it features five locations in key cities across Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The first two editions of the event were held in 2008, which took on three locations, and in 2010, which traveled across four venues. I think we have very good weather today and uh, we will be able to utilize all the 13 stations specially designed for all the participants who would like to test drive the 4x4 uh, D-MAX pickup. Actually, we are hyping on the capabilities of the 4x4 D-MAX and uh, I think most of the participants who already joined, we have a total of more than 1,000 plus something who have already test driven the vehicle in the first three legs and we are expecting maybe a thousand more for the last two legs of this uh, event. We have had heard a lot of nice things about the experience that the participants have told us and we would like to continuously do this. Actually, this is the third time that uh, Isuzu Philippines have, been, have done this kind of 4x4 challenge. And uh, these are specially designed and I think uh, most of them will enjoy. At the Cagayan de Oro leg of the D-MAX 4x4 Drive Series held at the city's Pueblo Business Park in Pacific Street, 13 stations marked the course that was specially designed to demonstrate the specific capabilities of the D-MAX's various off-road driving features. The obstacles included 40-degree hill climb done in first gear and in second gear, 40-degree hill climb with a stall midway up, 40-degree descent without braking, lateral climb mount, driving over elephant holes, trackling trail ruts, camber right and camber left sides up in 45-degree angles, traversing a roundabout cone, lateral descent ditch crossing, driving over cross-axle articulation rails, and going on a steel inclined plane with rollers. In each of the stations, the D-MAX's power, maneuverability, and traction were put to the test. The exercises demonstrated to the participants the advantages offered by four-wheel drive vehicles, as well as allow them to learn some of the special driving skills required when traversing rough terrain. Teaching them were instructors who are experts at off-road driving. Uh, thank you very much everyone who already uh, joined the, our event uh, held in uh, Pampanga, Cebu and uh, Bacolod also here in Cagayan uh, de Oro. Uh, I hope the, uh, everyone enjoyed the uh, driving and I uh, hope the, uh, uh, we are waiting the, uh, everyone to come to the next event 
uh, will be held in uh, Dabao starting from June 20. Thank you very much. In other industry news, a tandem of top regional BMW executives flew into town to meet with a select group of motoring journalists for a roundtable discussion of BMW Group's expansion plans in the ASEAN region and the future of sustainable mobility. We are very fortunate to have uh, with us in the country uh, top executives, namely uh, Dr. Kai Segler, who uh, heads uh, our corporate and governmental affairs for BMW uh, AG from the headquarters, and of course our regional president from BMW Group Asia, uh, Mr. Sergio Solero. This shows how the importance of uh, the Philippine market in uh, uh, the BMW business, and um, we, we wanted to uh, start that conversation on uh, leadership as a uh, leader in the premium segment, not only in the Philippines, but in uh, the whole world. Uh, we feel that BMW should also be leading conversations on future mobility uh, and innovations that will uplift the uh, auto industry in, ge in general. BMW AG Senior Vice President of Special Projects, Dr. K. Segler, and BMW Asia President Mr. Sergio Solero alternately explained how various global challenges such as the climate change, depletion of natural resources, and growing urbanization have led people to be more aware of their social responsibilities and change their premise of individual mobility, necessitating new mobility solutions. With transportation and mobility as one of the fastest rising and most important energy consumers today, more and more people have become aware of how vital the push of sustainable mobility is. Since I have been in the Philippines first time, what I recognize is the, the love of Filipinos for cars is tremendous and this is uncomparable to any other population in the world and I want that Filipinos have more right to drive BMWs and to deserve uh, to, to enjoy the high-tech of our vehicles whether it's BMW, Mini or Rolls-Royce that is what what I would like to see yeah I think uh, uh, the Filipinos are for what I've understood so far uh, really enjoying cars, like Italians. So cars are something that it's more than just a, a way to move from point A to point B. It's also part of their passion. And I think with our brands, we have a fantastic passion cars. So I'm looking forward to see and, and also to meet a lot of passionate Filipinos customers. Thank you very much. They trace part of BMW's history since the early 1970s, when sustainability has influenced the BMW Group, allowing them to foresee a future with sustainable mobility, leading to the development of new solutions to respond to changing customer demands. The BMW Group has prepared for the future of mobility by implementing technology projects, as well as gearing their lineup of products and services towards this vision. In 2014, the group targeted investments in ultra-energy efficiency technologies, not only in their vehicle lineup but in innovative mobility services as well. This foresight into the future of mobility has led to the BMW Group establishing itself as the leader for innovations in sustainable mobility in the global luxury vehicle segment.